While the Chinese were building these tunnels, a Georgetown professor was digging into China. The students uh, downloaded 200 hours of Chinese video. Dr. Philip Carver and his team of students have produced the world's largest report on China's tunnels. China admits they were dug by a secretive branch of its military, responsible for deploying ballistic missiles in nuclear warheads. They had 3,000. While the Chinese were building these tunnels, a Georgetown professor was digging into China. The students uh, downloaded 200 hours of Chinese video. Dr. Philip Carver and his team of students have produced the world's largest report on China's tunnels. China admits they were dug by a secretive branch of its military, responsible for deploying ballistic missiles in nuclear warheads. They had 3,000 miles of these tunnels. 3,000 miles. Can you put that in any perspective? Imagine a, uh, uh, a tunnel 30 feet by 20 feet high running from Nova Scotia to Tijuana. Harbor is a former Pentagon strategist who used to look for weaknesses in the old Soviet Union. Based on the size of these tunnels, he says China could have as many as 3,000 nuclear warheads. The problem with the study and the way that it comes to this estimate is that the the students and their professor make the assumption that because the because China is working on this system of underground tunnels this must automatically mean that they have a far they're, they're working on new nuclear nuclear weapons policy analyst Lacey Olson and others working on arms control question the Georgetown team's methods Olson says suggesting that China has 3,000 weapons is a huge jump from the current estimate of a few hundred warheads and could lead rival Asian nations to start an arms race. These all lead us to estimates that could potentially impact foreign policy in a very negative way. But students who slog through 200 hours of video and translated more than a million words disagree. Seeing hundreds of thousands of Chinese men who work to build these things and hearing their stories and seeing how much effort they put into this is another issue and it shows how, how important this is to the uh, Chinese military. They may provoke an arms race, even unintentionally.